I was born in the year 2000 on February 29. February 29 comes for every leap year and a leap year comes for every four years. So I celebrate my birthday for every four years. Can you guess when did I celebrate my first birthday? Hello everyone, I'm Vinod Kumar. Imagine you don't know a day or a date. What will you do? You look at the calendar, right? Today, let us discuss few concepts on calendars. Let's get into the first concept. Before we get into the topic, there are few points which are to be memorized. As we already know that a week consists of 7 days, a normal year consists of 52 weeks plus 1 odd day. A leap year consists of 52 weeks plus 2 odd days. Odd days are nothing but the normal days. So let's make a note point that the odd days are nothing but extra days of a year. We know that a year consists of 365 days that is 364 plus 1 and a leap year consists of 366 days that is 364 plus 2. These 2 and 1 are the extra days of a year. Hence they are called as odd days or else extra days. There are few codes which are to be memorized. Century codes, month codes and day codes. Coming to century codes, we can remember this in the following way. 1200 to 1299 that is from 1200 year to 1299 a century it is represented with the code 6 we take 1500 to 1599 as a base and start it with 0 that is 1500 to 1599 is represented as 0 1600 to 1699 as 6 again 1700 to 1799 as 4 1800 to 1899 as 2 and so on this repeats in the following sequence coming to month codes january 0 and December as 5. And coming to day codes, it can be easily remembered. Sunday is represented with 0 following the sequence. It's pretty hard to memorize the month codes. Therefore, I have a small technique to memorize this. To remember the month code, we can take it as a follows. Initially, we take 0, 3, 3. That is, the first 3 month codes are taken and next it is doubled and represented as 660 vertically. Therefore, now we need to write number sequence 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and last one as 5. Therefore, now we came to know that 0 is for January, 3 as February, 3 as March. These three codes are the base codes which are to be remembered. And now April as 6, May as 1, June with 4, July with 6, August with 2, September with 5, October as 0, November as 3 and December as 5. It is quite easy to remember, right? Next, to find a day of a particular given date can be done in the following way. So, finding day represented with D on particular date. For example, your friend asks your day on your birth date. For this, you need not search previous calendars. Therefore, by applying this formula, you can easily find it out. D day is given as date plus century code plus month code plus number of year plus number of leap year. And this everything is divided by 7. On doing this, we can easily find out the day on a particular date. Now let's see the question. What is the day on August 15, 1947? We already know the formula that D day is equal to date plus century code plus month code plus number of years, number of leap years by 7. That implies we know the date as 15th 15 plus century code is 0 and month code is 2. 
and these two codes are already mentioned in the previous table plus number of years from 1900s plus 47 so therefore it's 47 years and number of leap years it's 11 so how to find the leap years leap years can be found by 47 by 4 which gives rise to 11 as a question therefore 11 leap years by 7 that implies it is 75 by 7 and now the remainder is 5 and it's day code 5 which means that it's Friday therefore August 15 1947 is Friday now let's solve a similar type of question what is the day on week of 30th April 1998 we already know the formula and therefore now the date is 30 plus century code is 0 again and month code April month code is 6 plus number of years it's 98 1900 to 1998 it's 98 years plus number of leap years is 24 by 7 which gives rise to 158 by 7 reminder is 4 4 is the day code therefore 30th April 1998 is Thursday let's solve the second category of questions now let's solve the problem of other model but based on a similar formula here's the question on what date of april 2001 did wednesday fall see we can find the keywords april 2001 and wednesday let's solve this day on 1st april 2001 initially since there is no date given we need to find the day for the 1st april 2001 and that can be found through the formula D is equal to date plus month plus century code plus number of years plus number of leap years by 7. Notice date is 1 plus month code is 6 and century code is 6 plus number of years is 1 and number of leap years is 0 by 7. That is equal to 14 by 7, which gives a reminder as 0. Therefore, 1st April 2001 is Sunday, which implies that 4th April 2001 is Wednesday. Therefore, on 4th, 11th, 18th, 25th on these days Wednesday falls now let's solve a similar kind of question on what day of October 1994 Monday falls let's underline the keywords as October 1994 and Monday in a similar fashion to find the Monday first we need to find first October 1994's day that is day on 1st October 1994 D is equal to and based on the similar formula we get 1 plus month code is 0 century code is 0 and number of years it's 94 plus number of leap years it's 23 since 94 by 4 gives rise to 23 as a quotient by 7 that gives rise to 118 by 7 which leaves the remainder as 6 as the remainder is 6 we know that 1st October 1994 is Saturday which implies 3rd October 1994 is Monday therefore on 3rd 10th 17th 24th and 31st on these days Monday falls we are done with the second category let's get into the type 3 questions now let's solve the other model reference based day prediction and here is a question 8th February 2013 is Friday and then what is the day of a week on 8th February 2012 
here 8th february 2013 is one of the keyword friday is one of the keyword and to be found 8th february 2012 even this as a keyword let's solve this we already know that a leap year consists of two odd days 2012 is a leap year given that 8th february 2013 is friday and its day code is 5 now 8th february 2012 that is a year past it, it is 5 minus 2 since 2012 is a leap year which gives us to 3 and day code since it's a day code it is wednesday therefore 8th february 2012 is wednesday now let's solve a similar type of question now let's solve the next question 1st january 2006 is sunday and he is asking the day of a week on 1st january 2010 make sure that you underline the keywords in a given question let's solve this given that 1st january 2006 is sunday and he is asking for 2010 1st january let's draw a table year odd days 2006 have one odd day 2007 have one odd day 2008 have two odd days since it's a leap year and 2009 have one odd day the years having one as an odd day is a normal year and with two it is a leap year and total we get it as 5 since 1st january 2006 is sunday and its day code is 0 and now 0 plus 5 which gives rise to 5 that is it is friday therefore on 1st january 2010 it's friday this is the end of category 3 Let's get into the final category of questions. Our next topic is repetition of calendars. In repetition of calendars, basically in a calendar will have century years and non-century years. Century years are nothing but years like 1900, 2000, 1600, etc. And uh, coming to non-century years, they are like random years such as 1971. Nineteen forty-five, two thousand eighteen, etc. And now, in century years, if the given year is a century year, then it should be divided by four hundred. If it's a non-century year, it should be divided by four. With what are denominator we divide? If we get the remainders as zero, then the reference year should be added with 28 if the remainder is 1 then the reference year should be added with 6 that is 6 years should are to be added and above its 28 years are to be added and if it's 2 or 3 as a remainder then the reference year should be added with 11 years by remembering this point we can easily find the repetition the next repeated calendar now let's solve a question based on the repetition of calendars concept here the keyword is 2016 and here he asked the same calendar which which is as similar to 2016 2016 is non century year and therefore if 2016 is divided by 4 we get reminder as 0 therefore we already know that if the reminder is 0 the reference year should be added with 28 years that is 2016 is added with 28 which gives rise to 2044 therefore in 2044 the similar calendar therefore In 2044, 2016's calendar repeats. Let's solve another similar similar question. 
here he asked the same calendar of 2007 and therefore 2007 is non century year therefore 2007 should be divided by 4 which gives remainder as 3 therefore from the concept we know that if the remainder is 3 the reference year should be added with 11 that is 2007 the reference year is to be added with 11 and we get 2018 therefore in 2018 2007's calendar repeats in similar fashion we solve the so for the century years but but in place of 4 we take 400 if it's a century year hope you are clear with this concept practice well all the best hope you are clear with this concept practice well all the best